Hey everyone, this is Dr. Ruggio. I'm here with Juan, who's had some really good results with Elemental Heal, and he was kind enough to share his story with us, and so we're here today to kind of expand on that. Juan, thank you so much for being here. Sure, thank you, Dr. Ruggio. Can you tell people a little bit about the so, um that you were kind of suffering with? Yeah, well, um, I was diagnosed after six years of trying to have babies with my wife. Uh, I was diagnosed with infertility. and um, But at the same week, I was also diagnosed with an autoimmune condition, uh, some, some kind of arthritis that the doctor couldn't really put her, eye, uh, her thumb on because of some uh, blood work. So I started taking Plaquenil or Plaquenil. I don't know how you call it in English because I'm from Guatemala. So... And um, uh, so I start, and it didn't do much. It just made me feel worse. You know, it made my gut symptoms because I also had a lot of gut issues. Uh, made me feel worse. So um, I tried something similar to the protocol you you put on your book because at that moment I read another another bunch of books on natural medicine and and natural approaches to these kind of conditions. So I did some something similar and it helped a lot. It helped a lot. And three months later. My wife got pregnant Great. with those, uh, yeah, with those uh, just following protocols, changing to a paleo diet and uh, doing a bunch of, of herbs, very similar to what you suggest in your book. But the, the gut issues and the joint issues were, even though they were better, they kind of were coming on and off. Uh, I didn't do the, um, uh, the last part of your innate protocol, the, the, I don't know, I remember how you call them. And um, microbials or, or the feeding approach? No, it's the last, the, the, the last, the point where, where you, so you can keep on everything moving. The, oh, the prokinetics. Prokinetics? Mm -hmm. The prokinetics, right. That's what I was missing. I think one of the things I was missing. Sure. But anyways, um, I repeated the blood exams and they all came back negative after seven eight or eight months or the blood work on, on the autoimmune condition. So I reversed supposedly all the all the blood work as well. Power of the gut, it's true. And it's incredible. You wouldn't you you wouldn't believe it. And and I have an, a bunch of theories. And but yeah. So but some joint issues kept kept on coming back, and and, and some gut issues as well. It wouldn't it wouldn't heal completely. So I finally read your book, and um, I'm going all the way with my testimony, but. Um, if, if you want to interrupt me at any no, point. No, I mean, this, this is great because what, what you're describing, I think, is, is a really important concept for people to understand, which is you can go through some of the, the book protocol, which is starting with dietary and lifestyle interventions and then things like probiotics and antimicrobials. And for some people, that will get them close to full remission, but not all the way there. Like you're describing, they'll still have some of these gut symptoms or joint symptoms or whatever symptoms kind of coming and going. And, and that's exactly why one of the things you can next escalate to in the Healthy Gut, Healthy You protocol is the elemental diet. So, and I guess that's what you're kind of coming to next. Exactly. Yeah. Um, I also read a bunch of, of theories about how uh, fasting helps your body in general. You yeah. know, fasting is an amazing ancestral way of healing. And, um, so I did a bunch of, a couple of three day fasts and they, they kind of got me there, but I, I, they, they didn't really got, got me there. And at the third day I was always uh, fishing for food. I, it was really hard. Yeah. Then I, I bought the elemental heel and I was like, all right, I'll try this, but I'll try the fast first. And, and later I'll, I'll do the elemental heel. I'll, I'll, I'll try to do like Rambo, <laughs> just go all the way, you know, <laughs> dive in. And then, um, so I did the fast and on the third day, I, I, I thought to myself, I'll keep on going. I'll just use the elemental heel to keep me going, you know, on the, on the really hard, because the third and the fourth day are the hardest days. So I, I used I'm from going from a, a strict water fast and then you started getting hungry and you put in place of the water, the elemental heel, essentially. Exactly. Yeah, which uh, that's what I also a great point. And one of the concepts I discuss in the book, which is theoretically, if we could have you water fast for two weeks, that would probably be great for your gut. That's going to be hard to do from a compliance perspective. And, and most people I just don't think are, are robust enough to be able to handle a one or a two week fast, which is what's so nice about having the nutrients available in the elemental heel. It's, it's as, about as close as you can get to a fast because the ingredients absorb so quickly in the intestinal tract 
but you don't have to go hypocaloric and, and labor under that feeling tired and hungry and irritable and not sleeping well if you're trying to do a prolonged water fast. Exactly. And that's exactly what I did. I, I used the elemental heel to keep me going. And then the, 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 mo- the hardest days were the third and the fourth, as I was saying. And so I kind of cheated, if you might call it that. And I, but I used a little bit only at night, you know, I, I did uh, two scoops of elemental heel and just drank it. It was delicious, especially when you're fasting. It's like heaven on earth. (laughs) (laughs) And so also I did and I used it and I did the seven day, uh, water fast. I I kept on going just with water after that. And all the issues went away. Of course, I didn't have any gut issues because I didn't go to the bathroom after a couple of days. Sure. And um, on the seventh day, I started with the heel again. So I prolonged it a little bit mm-hmm. and started with the healing protocol to start, you know, bringing food into my, into my system again. I started with the elemental heel and it worked perfectly. All the symptoms stayed away. Um, the gut issues, that was the only thing that I had a little bit hard, of a hard time getting back to when, with, with the elemental heel because it's liquid. So I didn't go to the bathroom every day and I wasn't sure. But I just, um, I just let it let it be whatever it was. But I felt wonderful. And then I kept after the three days uh, of of elemental heal of the protocol you suggest in the bottles. Um, I started uh, in, uh, incorporating some easy to digest like uh, organic chicken broth and mm-hmm. and and you know um, easy to digest uh, veggies and and stuff. And man, it's. I can tell you my life before that and after that. <laughs> it it is it was a huge change. After that, I used the the because I bought three elemental heal bo- uh, nice. bottles, and so um, I had still had a lot of it. So I used it for um, intermittent fasting. Sure, you know. And so, so how, I, were you, how were you using that? Were you sipping on an elemental heal shake throughout the morning and then having lunch and dinner, or no? I just skipped dinner. Gotcha. Skipped dinner. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I prefer to eat in the morning. Okay. Yeah, everyone has a different application. And I mean, right. there's so many great things here. One I just want to kind of uh, you know, bookmark is the fact that you don't have to use the elemental heel according to a really rigid guideline. Sometimes people have a hard time with, well, I'm either going to use it for two full weeks to treat SIBO, or if I'm not doing that, then you know, how am I supposed to use it? And there's not necessarily a, a right way or a wrong way or a black and white box that you have to use it in. And so in, in your case, you know, the, the water fasting was something that intuitively felt like it was going to be a good therapy for you. You weren't able to fully do that on its own. So you added in the elemental heal as a way to help get you there, which is perfect. It's, it's really listening to your body. It's personalizing the use to what seems to work for the individual. And then from there, you went into what I would call kind of the, the hybrid approach where you have some food and some elemental diet or, you know, right. AKA using it in an intermittent fasting approach. And you're, you use it at dinner. Some people use it in the morning, but just a, a great reminder that you can listen to your own body and let your intuition guide you a little bit. And as you're a perfect testimony to, on the other side of that, you can experience significant healing, even if you didn't do it quite exactly as it's typically recommended to do. Right, right. And, and one thing I want to add about it is that it gives you the opportunity because I think uh, fasting or using heal in a prolonged uh, way is a great opportunity to also go inside of yourself and deal with the cravings and deal with your emotional issues. Mm. And I think that's something I don't remember if you put it on your book or, or, or if I've seen it because I'm a big fan of your website and the interviews you give. But I think it's something that, that it might help people out to, to, to put their minds on the fact that the emotional issues are also treated when you do, when you do that. All, all the connections you have with your gut and your emotion and with your life and your health in general, you deal with that when, when you do these kind of protocols. And it's, it's, for me, that was very intense and very powerful uh, tool as well. So, so it was great. Great. Well, awesome. So very, very happy to hear that and, and glad that you found the book, found Elemental Heal. You've used it successfully. And, and so is it fair to say that your symptoms are pretty much all gone now? I mean, I don't expect you to feel perfect because I think perfect is sometimes this ideal that you know we strive for, but it can never fully reach. No one feels perfect. We're not machines. We're humans. We have ups and downs. Um, but I'm assuming, like you said, you alluded to, you, there's kind of this night and day difference between then and now. 
Uh, yeah. So now joints are good, gut is good. Sounds like emotionally you're feeling well. Right. My joints are good. The only thing that I still have an, an issue with is my knee, my right knee. But I had surgery because I had a, a trauma, a trauma there. So that has nothing to do with what we were talking about. And um, but then the rest, I'm feeling awesome. I'm feeling really, really good. Yeah. And are you still using it in kind of this intermittent fasting hybrid application, the, the elemental heal? No, I, I I finished all the bottles I had, and now I'm just doing the inter intermittent fasting with um with, with just water at night, uh, three times a week, and I I look better than ever naked. <laughs> okay. Yeah, uh, but that's health, you know. So yeah. uh, uh, healthy is beautiful. So, anyways, I'm just doing the element and the, the water intermittent fasting because I don't have the heel anymore. Great. Yeah. Great. So one thing I'll just add in, in terms of thoughts for the road forward, if at some point things feel like they might regress, which they may, they may not, but you know, especially if you end up traveling or you know, and right. this is when it tends to happen, people are traveling, they, they may go to a location wedding and they don't have control over their food or their lifestyle. They're not sleeping well. They're maybe celebrating drinking alcohol and they feel like their gut gets a little bit banged up from that sort of process. That's always when you can revisit a short course of a couple of days on the elemental heel just as a touch up. So you probably have already gathered that from your prior experience and just learning from what's worked for you in the past, but just a little uh, note to make there. All right. All right. Thank you very much. And, and do you recommend also using, and, and I'm not using this as a, as a personal um, sure, appointment, but, but it's for everyone. Um, repeating the herbs to heal the gut after after a while like is this a recurrent thing as well or just or, or not really great question, great question. It, it really depends on the individual some people will go through the gut healing protocol and they'll never look back and then some people will will have to periodically revisit some of what worked well for them in the past and there's no real right or wrong answer there but what i encourage people to do is reflect on what they felt worked best for them in the protocol and then revisit that. So for some, for example, some people do very well on the probiotic protocol and right. so they can revisit that for other people. The probiotic protocol may not have gotten them all the way there. They may, they may have noticed the most cathartic changes when they did the antimicrobials or the elemental heal. And so right. I mean, revisit what seemed to give you the most results, but you can also decrease the dose and the duration. So if, just using arbitrary example here, if someone had to do two weeks exclusively on the elemental diet to finally get better, and then they're feeling way better, but six months later, a year later, they feel like they've maybe regressed by 20%. You don't have to go to the full two weeks again if you've only regressed slightly. You might be able to get away with four days. So just listen to your body there, and, and if at four days you're feeling fantastic, then you can transition back to food or kind of that mix and match um, hybrid approach where you know you, you have a let's say four days exclusive, and then you could do another four days where you're doing half food, half elemental heal, and then slowly taper off as as your body uh, indicates. All right, all right, that's a, that's very intu intuitive and, and logical, but yeah. Yeah, good, good. So right. let's just recap your symptoms one more time. There was, there was joint pain. Was there also uh, fatigue or, or any, uh, I don't want to say depression, but it sounds like your moods are better now. So I'm assuming maybe your moods weren't quite as bright previously? Well, I got to say the depression came when I got the the the, 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 um, the results of the exams. And I went to the actual doctor and they told me what I supposedly had. Right. That's when the depression really kicked in. But before that analyzing, I had joint pain. I had uh, fatigue. I had a lot of phlegm. Mm -hmm. I had gut issues. My eyes were itchy. And um, I, was, I, was, I felt like I was, I was swollen, you know, like an uneasy feeling all over. Like my mouth felt strange, you know, mm -hmm. like dry. And, and that's, a, that's a, the broad impact that irritation in the gut can have because that that really in my opinion is one of the main seats of inflammation for the whole body and so what that sounds to me like you were experiencing this systemic inflammatory response which can manifest dermatologically or, or in the eyes in the nasal cavity can also manifest rheumatologically in the joints and it can even manifest um with things neurologically so you know this is this is a great example of how inflammation in the guts 
can really lead to a broad spectrum of global symptoms. And it can be, it can be tempting to want to try to treat each one of those, you know, eye drops, <laughs> and your joints. So what, what we want to do is really getting to the root cause of the issues in the gut. And then we can see all these symptoms uh, ameliorate. So uh, fantastic, right. fantastic work. Um, really, really thank happy you. For you. And thank you so much for sharing your story with us. Sure. Thank you for doing everything that you're doing because you're helping. I'm using your book to help a bunch of people because I, I'm a nutrition and a nutritionist now and, and I'm helping people go through stuff. And so I use your book a lot to, to guide them and to help them out. So thank you as well. Awesome. Absolute pleasure. It makes me feel good about what I'm doing to hear that. So again, right. thank you. And uh, for everyone at home, if you haven't tried the Elemental Heal, one option for you on your gut healing journey. All right. Thank you. Thank Bye-bye. You. Bye-bye. 